This is the lens holder for our 20 diopter lens. Now that's the 20 diopter work lens which we regularly use for viewing the fundus. A 28 diopter also can be used. This lens is fitted into the adapter by firmly pressing it along the edges. Now the lens holder with the 20 diopter or the 28 diopter lens is then attached to this smartphone adapter device by screwing it gently on the adapter head. There are two separate lenses, lens holders provided for 20 diopter and 28 diopter since the sizes of the lenses differ and the user is advised to use the appropriate size for the appropriate lens. Now our lens is ready for use. That's the smartphone. Now the back panel of the smartphone is attached to the device by suction mechanism of the suction cup. That's the suction cup of the device. Now it is fitted in such a way that the lens is seen on the center of the mobile screen when we, when we turn on the camera of the smartphone. This would need some adjustment but it is not really very difficult. We do that by firmly pressing the suction cup on the back surface of the mobile phone. There. Now the whole assembly of the smartphone adapter device with the mobile phone and the 20 diopter lens is mounted on the central aperture of the slit lamp mount holding the illumination and the optical attachments. Now that central aperture is present in all the slit lamps which we are putting to good use. There, it's all ready for use. Now, open the app store or the play store in your mobile phone and download the Ulman Indirect app. Open the Ulman Indirect app and fill the full screen of the mobile with the 20 diopter or the 28 diopter lens. by zooming the image of the lens. This Ulman app is available for free download on your app stores. Now the patient is examined on the slit lamp with pupils fully dilated. The red glow in the pupillary region is followed back till a clear picture of the retina is imaged on the screen of the mobile phone. Then the retinal images are recorded either in video mode or photoburst mode of the Ulman Indirect app. The best images are saved to the gallery 